Hello, hello, hello! It's Nate. And it's the YouTube Next Up team! And today, we're gonna talk about five tips that'll level up your vlogging skills. One, lighting. If you have a ring light or a soft box, try to learn what three-point lighting is. If you're like me and you don't have lights at home, try to learn how to use natural light. Hard light like this is hard to work with. You end up squinting and there's like too much contrast. Soft light like this, on the other hand, is a little easier. Because the clouds are diffusing the sunlight, there's a little less squinting and less contrast. Problem. Low light indoors. Solution? Move near a window. Problem. You look super dark and your background looks super bright. Solution? Turn around. Problem. Super flat light. Solution? Color! Coloring your videos isn't as complicated as it might seem. Once you're done adjusting basic exposure levels, sometimes it's as simple as dragging and dropping. There are these things called LUTs that work just like Instagram filters. All you have to do is plop them onto your footage and they're gonna convert certain color values for you to have certain looks. These are easily downloadable and there are a ton of free LUTs out there. I'll link some for you guys down below. On-camera audio is usually okay when you're shooting on the go. Now if you have the resources, you can use a mic. If all you have is your phone, that is super okay too. I've used it before for sitting down videos and usually it sounds better than the onboard microphone. Now that we've got the technicals down, let's discuss one of my absolute favorite things about vlogging. Transitions! They always make switching locations look a little smoother. There are plugins to help you make your transitions look fancy and all that stuff, but there are simpler ways. And now we're outside. Or, you know, let's say you're walking around, right? And then you take a cut to your feet and then jump. And now we're in my hotel room. Lastly, my personal favorite, the swish pan. A warning, be sure to use transitions not merely to show off, but because it helps move the story along. Now, whether or not you have all the editing skills and equipment and stuff like that, one thing will keep your vlogs lively. Your personality! Woo! Start by practicing vlogging by yourself if you feel awkward or shy. Then, once you get more confident, get your personality and amplify it a little bit while you're in front of the camera. Add some flair. Maybe an accessory that people will remember you by. And then a catchphrase or a memorable phrase. Let's seize the carpe diem together. Bye. And remember, the most important thing is to never stop creating. As long as you keep learning and you stay humble, you will get better over time. And long-run progress always trumps short-term success. Cool? All right, let's use the carpe diem together. Bye. All right, guys, before I let you go, I wanna let you guys know that I am now giving you permission to like this video. If we get this video to over seven likes, then I will probably make another vlog better video. So be sure to answer the poll up here. So that I know what I should talk about in the next vlog better video. Shout out to the YouTube Next Up team. Thank you for being so helpful. I learned a lot from you guys. And at this point, I am rambling. So don't forget to seize it. And I will see you guys on Friday. Bye. Oh, one more thing. You're free to hit the notification bell if you want to.